a very geeky thing that I had to share on this show. Um, so I've been working with um, a concept um, show uh, for a little bit now called Top Rope Tabletop, and we're basically doing Dungeons and Dragons sessions with pro wrestlers. Um, it's been a lot of fun doing it, and, and, and I'm I'm learning some different uh, production things, like you know, just just different things, something different to present. So um, they got me a little something here, and uh, we'll uh, hold on. I will. I got a new camera over here, so let's see what we can do with this. So it is a little. This is from a site called Hero Forge, where you can make your own. Uh, D and D kind of figure situation. Hopefully, that zooms in on there a little bit better. Um, but yeah, it's a little me. Uh, I've got the microphone, I got the gear bag, and uh, it's got a little boom box on there and a, a dice roll uh, on there as well that you can check out. Uh, so there's there's yeah there's another camera. Our focus the focus is not made for like small things apparently <laughs> uh, for this. Um, uh, but, uh, but yeah, you know, if, if you want to do something like that, it, so, so basically they, um, um, Tatiana, um, part of the group, uh, had made, uh, several drawings of the characters and, uh, they went to Hero Forge and had multiple, had all their characters made up and they're very, very cool looking. And there, there's me. It looks like I'm trying to interview Keith Hodd over there, who's the dungeon master of the group in the top, in the top hat, if you're joining us on video. Um, so a very cool thing. And, and, and even <laughs> I was showing, I was showing this to Jim yesterday and, uh, and uh, he was like, well, where do I get mine, mate? So, but yeah, you go to uh, heroforge.com apparently, and you can work in that and they, uh, they'll they help you make your custom figures. And like, it, it's basically kind of just set up like, like your create a character in a video game, it looks like. So you can go through, switch everything up and then like colorize it. And it comes out and it can't, it, I'm, I'm absolutely blown away on the uh the quality of this thing it's it's so tiny well painted and it's like basically a one of a kind i guess uh the, the way they made this so uh so thank you to uh keith and the crew over at top rope tabletop um is a really cool really really cool thing to have around the studio here so uh maybe we can uh maybe we can make a uh, little awesome casters where did my bomb go <laughs> so um you know We'll, we'll all get on there and uh, make make a version of ourselves. We'll do a Katie one. And we'll do a Chilla one, right, guys? <laughs> what would yours have? Like, what would what would what what accessories would we put on your uh, your Hero Forge characters? Like, Katie just needs like I don't know baby. if we could we throw a Hello Kitty in this thing. I'm not sure if that's gonna work. <laughs> or Baby Yoda, or <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and also notice notice Grogu is part of the set now, hanging out yes. back there. So, um, but anyways. Chill, I, I don't know, Chilla. I don't. You just have a bunch of devices, right? Is that what I'd do with you? Yeah. Can I put a tablet on there? I think you're muted. Uh, so. a, tab a, ta a tablet in one hand, a phone in the other. Maybe a, b a bandolier of phones. There you go. There you go. Like Ch like Chewbacca style. I'm looking for. I'm looking for accessories. Well, I'm wondering. And so these aren't. I mean, the colored plastic ones are forty four ninety nine. It's mm -hmm. not bad. Mm mm. No, it's not. So I, I, I presume I want to make one now. <laughs> right? Like you want a little like you to use, right? So um, no, that's really cool. Uh, 